First Corinthians, the 15th chapter. First Corinthians, the 15th chapter. And when you have found it in your Bibles, would you let me know by saying, Amen. Amen. First Corinthians chapter 15, I want to thank you for standing at the reading of the Word. And certainly we encourage each of us to make time to revisit this chapter in its entirety that the Word of God may richly bless our lives. The 57th verse of 1 Corinthians 15. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory mm. through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. I want to stop right there. Yeah. Thank you, ushers and others, for your attention. You may be seated. Would you repeat these words after me? But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to talk for these few moments from this study. I want to talk about thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Would you take the hand of the person next to you and repeat it after me? Thanks be to God. Show me the name on the other side of me one more time. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, there is within the body of Christ not only what one may call appropriate gestures, appropriate types of responses in the midst of the worship dynamic, but there are also appropriate words and terminology that are important and that are a backdrop of the evidence that you're in the midst of somebody who is saved. Things like amen is a term that you don't hear in the world except properly from saved folk. Words like praise the Lord and thank you Jesus are terms and phrases that almost are peculiar and particular to the concept of the idea of the life of the believer. And so here, in like manner, as these terms have an appropriate place, so should the words, thank you, be a part of the language of every born again child of God. Thanks, brothers and sisters, must be seen. Not only as a common but a necessary expression for every believer when we are honest with ourselves. Because some of us here are here by our own steam. None of us are where we are in life by our own intelligence. It was not because we knew the right people. It was not because we were in the right place at the right time. It wasn't because we had enough money. It wasn't because we had the right education or background. If we are honest today, we need to say just like the psalmist said, if it had not been for the Lord, we would all not die. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Who would I be? Yeah. Yeah. Are we all with me? And so the honest individual, he or she must learn how to show a level of gratitude and expression to a God who does things for us far beyond that which we are worthy. Are you right with me? No advance in our life has been accomplished without the help of the blessings of God. That even matter, brothers and sisters, whether you call it large or small, whether you call it a big thing or an insignificant thing, 
I'm here to tell you it was God. He brought it to pass and it was God who brought it to pass even in our lives right now. But there is a second fault in this text that we seek to examine today, and that is the word victory. It means that one has gained an advantage superior to defeating an enemy or an opponent. And brothers and sisters, what this means is that what we have in the Lord is a victory that goes beyond anything we should accomplish. I need to remind somebody, you can't fight yourself. It doesn't matter how, how much you feel you got worth it. The devil is a spirit. You got to have a spirit to fight with spirit. All that is I to read is to be a See, the one that I want to fight for me is the one who walks in the room, people start screaming. Thank you. 